This is 8th Street, NYU.
You're not very good with boundaries either. Right? <laughs> <laughs> It seems like more than just a job. 
You're really, really patient. Uh, you should see me at 7 in the morning when I'm late getting everyone out the house. I'm not so patient then. I find that hard to believe. Oh, it's true. Well, I guess I'd have to see it sometime. <laughs> <laughs> so, what about you? What about me? What have you done? I'm coming as an actress. <coughs> Would we have seen you at anything? No, I just moved here. You moved to 28th Street? <laughs> no. <laughs> New York. I moved to New York. Good. Because 28th Street isn't our stop, is it, Greg? No, nope, that's right. We're going to... Where are we going again? Fifth Avenue. Right, it's Fifth Avenue. Sorry. It's okay. This is a Queen's Down R train. The next stop is 34th Street. I live on the Upper West Side, actually. I'm here about eight months ago. Oh. Hello. Oh. Well, congratulations and welcome to New York. He likes you, right, Arthur? Hi, Arthur. Nice to meet you. Is Arthur nice? Oh, no, Arthur, you can't go through there now while the train is moving. Uh, did I upset him or something? No. Arthur, will you sit down, please? I hope he's okay. Oh, he's fine. Arthur, did you hear me? What did I do? Uh, nothing. It's not you. He gets worried when people take Greg away. What people? People we don't know. <laughs> you mean me? No, no, I'm not, I'm not taking anyone away. Nine of clubs! Uh-oh, clubs are bad. No, they're not. Take another card, Alan. Nine of clubs! Uh-uh, <laughs> <laughs> the same card. Somebody's gonna get hit. <laughs> Is he serious? No. I didn't mean to upset anyone. No, no one's upset. Uh, as a matter of fact, we're just gonna settle in here. Arthur, sit down, please. We're all just going to sit back and enjoy the train ride. What if we miss our stop? Oh, we won't. I'm watching. Okay, you better. Oh, I will. This is 34th Street. <laughs> I, I think it's our station. No, nope, this isn't our stop. But Arthur's going, though. No, nope. Cindy, what's our stop? We're going to Fifth Avenue. That's right. Good memory. Thanks, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he still staring at you? Oh, Arthur, it's not polite to stare, you know that. Megan's our friend. Is she my friend? Yeah, of course I am. Uh-oh, two of hearts! <laughs> two of hearts! One, two... You guys, <laughs> Megan's not taking me anywhere. There are hearts in there for all of us. Two of hearts? Only two? One, two... <laughs> well, you know, we're kind of like a family. Not kind of, Greg. We are a family. Uh, that's right. We are a family. Megan, are you a family? Uh, I'm in a family, if that's what you mean. Not a very good one, though, I'm afraid. If you're afraid, you should come be in our family. <laughs> oh, you're lovely. Why can't she be in our family, Greg? Oh, she can. There's room enough for everybody. Megan, Greg said there's room for everybody. We're going to the zoo. <laughs> so I've heard. This is Queen's Bound R train. The next stop is Times Square, 42nd Street. Stand clear of the closing doors, please. So, um, if it's not too personal, can I ask you something? Depends on what you're asking. Curious, but there's no one in your life right now. I have plenty of people in my life. I meant a girlfriend. Why does there have to be a girlfriend? <laughs> I don't know. It's just you seem kind of nice. That's all. Kind of. <laughs> okay, very nice. Two hearts. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Nothing. He's just talking. <laughs> Why don't you have a girlfriend? He does! Me! <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, you're not some kind of a serial killer or anything, are you? That's so dumb! You don't kill cereal, you eat it! <laughs> right. It's just, it's kind of 
odd to me that someone like you doesn't have a girlfriend, that's all. I, I do have a girlfriend. Oh, I thought you said you were... Yeah, saying. and she's right here. <laughs> that's right, Megan. I'm his girlfriend. Not really. Hey! I'm sorry, Greg. I have my reasons. Like what? <laughs> I like her too, just like I like you and Alan and Arthur. Then she should come to the zoo with us. Oh, I'm sure she's too busy. For Megan, are you too busy to come to the zoo with us? <laughs> um, actually, I am kind of busy today, yeah. I have an audition and a dance class. But you should forget about that stupid audition. Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> just come to the zoo. It's more fun. We're going to see animals and see Snakes. Oh, I hate snakes. Me too. Uh, if you get scared, Greg will hold your hand. Well, what are you, a matchmaker now? I don't know what that is either. <laughs> <laughs> and so, um, aside from Cindy here, are there any other girls in your life? Ace of Diamonds! Ace of Diamonds? He means Amber. She took the Ace of Diamonds. Come on, you guys. <laughs> Way too much sharing. We don't we don't do that. <laughs> it's why Amber can't come to the zoo with us anymore. Wait a minute. Are they saying you were engaged? <laughs> yes, I was engaged. <clears throat> uh, sorry. Greg doesn't talk about bad stuff. This is Times Square 47. <laughs> oh, I think this is our station. No, this is our stop. We're going to Fifth Avenue, remember? Arthur, you know it's not nice to stare. Oh. 
They left him. Hey, Cindy, we don't talk about each other, remember? Oh, I, I forget. Hey, Arthur. I know what that feels like. Uh, my dad left me when I was five. On my birthday, actually. That was a very nice... Was it, Greg? No, it wasn't. Sorry. Uh, it's fine. <laughs> I've moved on. Uh, and now all I have is my mom. And all she wants is for me to be a role wasteful. <laughs> <laughs> is that what you want? <laughs> um, how about we talk about something else? Okay. So, uh, what about you? How about your family? Fine. <laughs> they're, they're fine, I guess. I mean, I love them and everything. I guess the only bad thing I could say is, uh, they live in Paramus. <laughs> That's not bad at all. You've never lived in Paramus. <laughs> okay, I have a question. Uh-oh. Uh, uh, how do you know you're not ready to get back up here yet? Because I'm not. Yeah, but how do you know? I mean, the only way to really be sure is to try, isn't it? Right? She wants you to ask her out. That's what they did in the movie. No, <laughs> not me, necessarily. But someone. I mean, how do you, I don't know, how long has it been since the engagement ended? Not long enough. OK, well, can I tell you something my mother said to me when I moved here? Do I have a choice? <laughs> it's, it's OK, Arthur. <laughs> My mom says a lot of inappropriate things. <laughs> but right before I moved here, she said something that's really starting to make sense all of a sudden. She said you never know when you're going to meet the one. Oh my god, you're talking about the one? Mm -mm. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, let, it, let me finish. I'm not looking for a boyfriend. I'm talking about you finding someone special. My mom said that person might show up when you least expect it. Yeah, I. Like when the stars aren't aligned and the timing is all wrong. I get it. Yeah, but do you get you gotta stay open to possibility? <coughs> what possibility, Megan? Flush! Flush, what does that mean? The only thing you flush is the toilet. <laughs> Look, Megan, there's no possibility here. Not now. I'm sorry. Okay, not even the possibility of being friends. I have friends. Yeah. These guys seem like more than just friends. I like Megan. And you want to know what the kicker is, what else my mom said? Your mom has an awful lot to say for somebody who's not even here. <laughs> you don't know that of it. <clears throat> she said the way I would be able to tell who the right one for me is would be to watch the way he treats his family. Hey, we're his family! That's right. And what does that tell you? It tells you who someone really is. And the way you treat your family, this wonderful, loving family of yours, that includes you, Arthur. The way you treat them makes you a really special person. You okay, Arthur? <laughs> like, I'm sure this is all stupid, because I don't even know you. But what I'm saying is I'd like to get to know you, all of you. And Maybe we shouldn't ignore what's happening right here, right now, in this crazy, bizarre moment. I need popcorn. This is a good movie. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, I can't help but think how incredibly sad it would be if I woke, if we woke up tomorrow and realized that we might have missed an opportunity. Megan, I'm not asking you out. No, I wasn't talking about that. I'm talking about making friends. Good. Yeah, Alan? King of Hearts! What's that mean? Even I know what that means. The king has the biggest heart of all. And I think Alan is saying, that's you. This is 49th Street. This is my stop. Is this our stop? No, we're Fifth Avenue, Cindy. So, uh, what's it gonna be? This is a Queen's Bound R train. Give me your number, Greg! What?
What? Give her your number, it's what they did in the movie! It's not that easy, Cindy. I'm sure it is! Megan, do you want my number? Uh, yes, sure. Seven is my number! <laughs> See, Craig, easy peasy! Look, if you won't take mine, just give me, if you won't give me yours, just take mine. Megan, I can't, I told you. Greg, I'm not asking you out. I just love to see this wonderful family of yours again, including Arthur. Release the dog in front of the train, please. <laughs> What's it gonna be, Greg? Don't be a dodo. Take the number, Greg. Seven, eight, nine more hearts, Greg. That's a lot of hearts, don't you think? Megan, I'll take it. Thank <laughs> you. 